I'm delighted to be joined by author, broadcaster and royal expert Hugo Vickers, who's been following the royal family for many years. A much less publicised way of marking jubilees are jubilee walkways. Tell us about those and your involvement with them. Well, in 1977, it was thought to be a good idea to have something permanent to remind people of this uh, great celebration when all the jellies had been eaten and all the fireworks had gone off and so forth. So a man called Max Nicholson, a very distinguished environmentalist, can, um, created the Silver Jubilee Walkway, which went from Leicester Square and it went across to the South Bank and it was going to go all the way along the South Bank to Tower Bridge and then back again. And what he really wanted to do was to open up the South Bank of the Thames, which was extremely successful because anyone in the next 17 years wanted to do, like Hayes Galleria, wanted to open up, um, wanted to make create themselves, had to do their riparian stretch, otherwise they didn't get planning permission. So 17 years later, you've got this incredible South Bank, which is so vibrant, as you know, um, full of life and activity. Well, I took it over eventually, and in um, 2002, for the Golden Jubilee, we ran it up the Mall. For the Diamond Jubilee, we created a 60-kilometer route which joined up the Olympic sites because that was the year of the Olympic Games. And this year, we are putting a Platinum Jubilee walkway into Birmingham. 20 markers in the ground, they're already there, and uh, 22 kilometers, so you kind of get the 2022, and that's because the Commonwealth Games are being held in Birmingham. But it's a wonderful way of celebrating the Queen because the markers have a wonderful E2R in the middle, and they're made out of gunmetal, you could drive a tank over them and you'd, they'd be permanent. And in a sense it's good for walking, good for the historical knowledge and celebrating the Queen. And Hugo, you've written several books about the royals as well, and you've just published a new one. Tell us about that. Which is a collaboration I've done with the Queen's cousin, the Duke of Kent. It's called A Royal Life. And the idea was that he got stuck uh, during lockdown and could only do a certain amount for his charities and regiments. And so we did a book of conversations. And he walked in the King's funeral procession um, in 1952 as a young boy of 16. And he was here last summer for the Trooping the Colour, the only colonel, colonel with a capital C on parade next to the Queen, Colonel of the Scots Guard. So he's been there all the way through the Queen's reign and is in the category of one of those members of the royal family who does not compete with the Queen but supports her and tries to make, tries to alleviate her burden in any way she might ask him to, to do so. And finally, Hugo, how would you sum up these 70 years that the Queen has been on the throne? I think we've all been incredibly lucky to live during the Queen's reign. It's been an extraordinary time, very much um, thanks to her. The Queen bestows over this country and indeed over the Commonwealth a kind of wonderful element and aura of calm and continuity. You'll find also there's a very strong element of conciliation in so much that she does. Um, she will often say in her speeches, we cannot forget the past, but we must build bridges towards the future. I think back to state visit of President Hoyts of Germany in 1958, which was very not very long after the war, the visit of the Emperor of Japan, obviously what she's done with Ireland and so forth, um, really very important. And I think also that if you were looking for something, way to describe her, like Alfred the Great, I think Elizabeth the Steadfast would be a very good description because she's always had a very, very clear vision of what it is to be our Queen. And when occasionally I'm forced to debate the merits of the Queen against, let's say, Republicans and so forth, really the clinching argument always is, what country in the world wouldn't want to have, have a head of state like ours? Somebody who's totally on the side of Britain and who's never put a foot wrong. We're incredibly lucky to have her and so we should celebrate her gloriously during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. Oh,